Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm with Brian Boucher, uh, who's with a uh, flight design representative. And we have here the new uh, CTLS-I from Flight Design, which uh, carries the new Rotax 912 IS. Uh, Brian, we've just flown the airplane and we'll, we'll take a look at that footage in a minute. Give us the overview on this uh, engine installation. It's a little bit different than the uh, standard 912, but not that much. Not that much, Paul, but one of the big differences you'll notice on the uh, CTLSI, the, the fuel injected Rotax engine, is you don't see any carburetors. The carburetors are gone, and what you have is an air box right here in this area here with the MAP sensors, along with your fuel rails going over to both of your fuel injectors on each side of the aircraft. And pretty much everything else is the same. You have four cylinders with two sets of spark plugs per, uh, per cylinder. Now this gets rid of the carburetors in favor of uh, port type fuel injection. In order to make that work, it has a couple of uh, high pressure fuel pumps. Now some of these installations we've seen, they live on the firewall, but here they're in the back. Tell us about a little bit about the fuel system to get the fuel to the engine. That's correct, Paul. What we have is uh, two fuel pumps uh, mounted in the rear baggage compartment underneath the floor. And uh, the fuel will feed from the two wings straight down towards the header tank. And then from the header tank, they come through the two fuel pumps into the uh, engine. Now that header tank is a little different setup than the previous engine, correct? That's correct. There is no header tank on the other uh, Rotax installed engines, but there is on this fuel injected. And uh, the header tank uh, gives you a warning when you're running out of fuel, you'll uh, about uh, 1.7 gallons, uh, you'll have a annunciator light comes on on the panel and you have 10 to 15 minutes to uh, find a place to land. Uh, Brian, we've taken off from uh, Venice and from Bucket. The airplane with the uh, uh, 912 IS flies pretty much like it does with a regular 912, but there are some differences uh, uh, in the run-up and also uh, letting the engine warm up to bring the second generator online. Tell us a little bit about that. And, and you're quite correct there, Paul. Uh, when you first start up the engine, uh, what they're recommending is that to, you let the oil oh, temperature uh, come up to about 50 degrees uh, Celsius, idling the engine at 2,000 RPM. As soon as the engine comes up to temperature, you can uh, bring up the engine RPM to 3,000 RPM, and at that point, the second generator will come online, and it'll start charging. Then you can bring the aircraft uh, engine uh, idle down to uh, 2,000 RPM, then turn on your master and start setting up your radios for the plane. And of course, uh, it's a warm day. The engine was warmed up, so we didn't really have to do that. Prior to takeoff, the run-up is uh, pretty much like a conventional airplane, uh, and we were talking uh, about it really being self-diagnostic and automatic. You almost really don't need to do it, even though it does recommend that you do it. That's correct, because when you first start up the uh, engine, it does a self-test on the ECUs. Both lane A and lane B lights will initially illuminate, and then within three to five seconds, they'll uh, extinguish. That's the self-test on the ECU. The big payoff is that altitude. Uh, we went to 5,000. We set the airplane up in cruise, 114 to 115 knots on four gallons. Uh, and that's a good savings over the stray Rotax. It sure is. In fact, uh, when I ferried the aircraft from Connecticut down to Florida in the last couple of days, I was pretty much at uh, 4,500, 6,500 VFR, uh, four gallons per hour, 114, 115 knots true. Now this uh, airplane w with this engine, with the 912 IS, will carry a slight price premium. Uh, over the over the regular 912. And that's correct. Uh, I think uh, the price increase is somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, four to $6,000 more. Well, thanks very much for the demonstration, Brian. Thank you very much, Paul. It's been a pleasure. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.